Paddy Jackson's lawyers have issued a strong statement threatening to take legal action against anyone who sees fit to attack their client. Well, that's us then. I guess that's the end of all the protesting and the end of the anger and the end of the social media criticism and the end of hashtag I believe her. Or, funnily enough, it hasn't stopped. What's all this? Thousands of people still marching? Are you afraid of getting sued by Paddy Jackson? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I've been going around, you know, like defaming, defaming him quite a lot recently. And uh, what was it? Was it him or was it the, the leash guy or that Dunleary fellow? You know, the guy who wanted to, you know, fuck a sink at um, those feminists, is it? Yeah, just a message to that guy. Please, you know, share this widely. Um, if he wants to come to my kitchen, Oh, honey, you can, you know, come into my kitchen and fuck a sink at me any day. Good luck. No, I'm not one bit afraid. And like the 60,000 people that have retweeted, sue me, Paddy. Sue me, Paddy. Come get my George Foreman. I live in Constitution Hill Flats. Not afraid of you. Not afraid of getting a letter off you. I believe her and I stand with her. Madeline Johansson, you're a South Dublin County Councillor. Um, I'm just wondering what you think of the latest uh, news that uh, Paddy Jackson's lawyers are going to be suing uh, public figures and uh, the latest is that they're going to be suing a senator for comments he made in the wake of the trial. Uh, Are you afraid of anything similar happening to yourself? I'm not. I think he can try and sue us all, but there's thousands of us here on the streets today saying that we believe her. I don't think that any woman walks away from a consensual sexual encounter bleeding from her vagina and hysterically crying so I believe her and we all here believe her and we're not afraid of Paddy Jackson's lawyers so sue me Paddy I mean personally no not really Um, I don't think he's going to go after little old me especially not with all these people here he's not going to go after everyone you know why did you think it was important to come out today Uh, just to show uh, support you know you can't you can't let this stuff kind of just go. You know, all these people are showing support. Paddy Jackson can see me if he wants to. Like, I'm here to stand up for people who don't have a voice and people who've used their voice and haven't been heard. So come on and see me if you really want. I'm not at all. Paddy Jackson can sue me as much as he wants. I would never be afraid to call out the actions of misogynists and rapists. I think we need a real societal change. We need to change the way everything works in the society. From the very bo- the bottom level of society, everything is, sexism is ingrained into every level of society. People in, in like the jury in these rape trials, they had the same biases and internal misogyny that everyone else has. Yeah, I don't know, there was a lot of things we talked about, like the education of consent in like junior schools and senior schools and then also in colleges and I think that's a huge part of it, education and then also this lads culture which is kind of so pervasive in a lot of men or all boys schools and stuff which I went to and it's just a kind of a, it needs to be just like cut off. You know? So it seems that people will not be bullied into silence. Well, RTE aren't here, but did anyone expect any different? But for us, today, the message is loud and clear. We believe her. We stand with her. Sue me, Paddy! Sue me, Paddy! 